All right, and good evening. Something, <coughs> excuse me, that we were expecting, but hoping maybe wouldn't happen. Starting to see some thunderstorms kind of firing up down to the southwest of us, and they are starting to move across parts of South Louisiana. Now, thus far, we've been relatively quiet across our viewing area, but a different story out over Lafayette to Baton Rouge. Now, thankfully, these are all below severe limits. Of course, just after the last couple of days, we don't want to deal with any additional thunderstorms, but these storms are moving fairly quickly. And as I said, a little bit more cellular in nature and all below severe limits. What I mean by cellular in nature is that we don't necessarily have a line of storms setting up. You get one little round of some thunderstorms that roll on through another one down uh, south of Lafayette right now. A decent little thunderstorm activity that may move down towards, say, south of Morgan City or even clip parts of Terrebonne Parish and additional thunderstorms down to the southeast of Houston. So we are starting to see those thunderstorms developing across that southwesterly flow, and those will continue moving in throughout the rest of this late evening and more so into the overnight period. Switching over to satellite, we'll kind of watch downstream further to see if additional thunderstorm development starts firing up. We got the one cluster that's moving over the Baton Rouge area now, the next one that's moving toward Lafayette, and then the third that'll be moving likely right behind the other two. So let's kind of take a look at what the computer models are saying. As I've been saying with the storms that we had late last night, early this morning, and even going back to Monday, the computer models don't always do a great job of forecasting this because as of right now, our high resolution model is not even painting in those showers. It has some kind of line of rain right around the Texas, Louisiana line. So you kind of keep that in mind when you look at the further development of the storms. Now, they may become a little bit more linear in nature, although that linear nature may be a little bit more close to us as we go later on into the then early Saturday morning hours and then becoming more distinct in terms of a line of storms going further into the morning hours of Saturday. Wherever the potential for a line of storm set up, that is where we're going to have the greatest threat of flooding. This would be the training effect where rain just continues to move over the same areas. That would easily start increasing several inches of rainfall through the course of the early morning hours. Now, we may see those become a little bit more numerous during the daylight hours or right after daybreak on Saturday. Uh, not necessarily the case, but we'll be watching for that trend. And it may be that a lot of those storms really get fired up as the line itself is moving to the east and hopefully that's what happens if we do see more of a line of storm set up that line will hopefully be moving steadily east where we won't see maybe the greater accumulations of rainfall that we would have seen had the line just remained stationary and it definitely doesn't look like it's going to remain stationary all morning long in fact most of the models are indicating after about 9 to 10 a.m the bulk of that rainfall should be moving out this is a look at another computer model and we kind of pan it over a little bit just to see uh, again more of these storms are out over the uh, Gulf waters as opposed to right along coastal Texas. Uh, but this model at least has a better idea of kind of the several little rounds of some rainfall. So this may be a little bit more to the uh, east of where the model is saying it. So we may be getting in on those storms a little bit sooner than even 3 a.m. As we go throughout the early morning hours again, models kind of painting in more of a line of storms where these are more cellular in nature kind of becomes a little bit more filled in and we get those storms rolling through during the early morning hours. And again, model consensus calling for a lot of the storms to start wrapping up not too long after daybreak, 8, 9 a.m. We should start to see more breaks in the rainfall. As of right now, Storm Prediction Center maintaining a level two out of five threat for severe storms. The greatest risk would be from strong winds. Of course, we can't rule out an isolated tornado or even the small hail and something else we're going to be watching uh, steadily through the night. I'm not sure why my graphic here just disappeared, uh, but will be the flooding risk as we continue throughout the overnight period as well. So as of right now, I'll go back to our first uh, image on radar here. Just to show you that we do have the thunderstorms that are starting to fire up now. They are beginning to move near our area. We will continue to watch these for any potential of becoming strong, severe. That threat is certainly there, not guaranteed. And hopefully if we have to deal with any thunderstorms through the overnight period, they all remain below severe limits. But the mention of those becoming strong to severe is certainly possible. We'll have a complete update on the storms uh, during WWL uh, Louisiana News at 10. And of course, we're going to be staying here through the overnight and with you early tomorrow morning. For now, I'm Chief Meteorologist Chris Franklin.